So here we are at Barnes and Noble, and we're looking to get some art magazines. I uh, can help you out in what art magazines to get this month. So here goes. So it's a cold, rainy day in northern New Jersey right now. Let's see. I'm gonna look for the art section. Got transportation, sports, men's interest. Actually, actually can't find the art section right now. So weird. Ah, here we go. Very small section. They have it in technology, whatever that means. It used to have its own section. Let's see. This is actually a really good magazine called Professional Artists. Gives really good tips on on using technology, getting into art shows, having your work ready for galleries, stuff like that. The Artist Magazine. Check out that one. This Here's one. an interesting new magazine, Acrylic Artist. We do use acrylic paint for airbrushing, so that would be something interesting to look at. Here's the latest issue of Airbrush Magazine, who is the cover artist. Doesn't say hyper real portrait with a tattoo, intricate Iron Man painting, and stencil basics for t-shirts. Alright, so I'm checking out Airbrush Action Magazine this month's issue. And with this month's issue, we have the work of Steve Gibson, who I really highly recommend. His work is fantastic. Let's quickly go to that page. This is a really good publication to get to subscribe to. It's a monthly publication, I believe, or bi-monthly, I think. No, six times a year. So here's Steve Gibson's article. And it looks like it's... Uh, Young woman with a couple of moire eels, which is a really interesting design with the red and the green, which are complements and creates a nice vibration. So it looks like you have all the way up to, let's see, 33 steps. And of course, it looks like he uses a wada. Yep, 37 steps all the way to the finished work. And this is actually part two, so. I guess uh, last month's issue was part one. And this issue actually has a lot to digest. And so here's one. This is a portrait, monochromatic black and white. And the artist is Kali Horn. Now I like his stuff. I believe he's German. And his work is really fantastic. And he actually goes to a step-by-step -step guide his techniques, his materials, and how he goes about it, which I highly recommend seeing his work as a whole. Really fantastic stuff. Here is, of course, some of his, his work is on the cover. So definitely check out this magazine. So this magazine is definitely gonna be purchased by me. Then we have this month's acrylic artist magazine and let's see redefine portrait capture details let me see what we got in here this is actually it's a really good book because a lot of times uh, acrylic paint takes back seat to oils which I do not agree with oils were great they are great but they're not the only way to go and you gallery people who are watching grow up and let's see okay some of the work is interesting uh, really nice uh, tutorial on how to do a snow scene in acrylic which is really fantastic especially those textures so that's a toss up I don't know I'm not gonna get it I can do without it but if you're painting a snow scene definitely then we have the Artist Magazine, 
And that's usually a good one. I recommend it if you're middle of the road, sort of still trying to find your technique. But if you're an established artist, then uh, I would have to say you could skip this and you really don't need to go any further with this. Uh, it's a good article on artists who are over 60, which you might find interesting, maybe encouraging. It's never too late, never too early. Okay. Professional Artist Magazine is always good to get. I actually highly recommend you subscribing this because it has information on getting your work out there, photographing your work, using social media, web 2.0, video cameras. So that I'm gonna purchase. So right now it looks like this month, the Artist Magazine, Airbrush Magazine are the two magazines you should purchase. The other ones, hmm, I always liked Airbrush International Magazine. They, just to see what's going, out, going on out there with photorealism, which I really love. They have these contests. They, just for trying your work in contests, I recommend subscribing, getting a subscription to to International Artist Magazine. So, so this is a very good art, good uh, issue here. A lot of how tos, uh, information on new uh, international artists. Here's a good article on portraying essence, which you know sometimes we learn how to paint, but how to paint, how to create a mood. So. All right, the takeaway from this uh, video blog, what magazines to get, these are the ones for this month. International Artist Magazine, Professional Artist Magazine, and Airbrush Action. I recommend you get subscriptions to these guys. Really fantastic stuff.